Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here what this is the question. Planck's constant small h, speed of light c and the gravitational constant capital G are used to form a unit of length L and a unit mass capital M. Then the correct options and option may be multiple choice questions. So therefore we are using option and options are m proportional to root c, m proportional to root g, l proportional to root h, l proportional to root g. This question is asked j advance 2015. Now in this question, all these three terms is directly proportional to the mass and length. So let's, it can be written as m is directly proportional to the h, it is directly proportional to the speed of light, it is directly proportional to the universal gravitational constant. Now, raise the powers, let A, B and C on the given values. Okay, so A, B, C, this is the exponent. Here M, it means its exponent is considered 1. Here there is no any dimension, so that should be taken 0, L raised to power 0 and uh, t raised to power 0. Why we have written here so? Because it is convenient to the compare, uh, comparison of these terms. And now, what is the play dimension of plane constant, speed of light and universal gravitational constant? So, we should have to be learned the formula by we get the dimension formula. For example, plane constant. You know that energy is equal to h nu. This is the formula. By using the formula, we can get the dimension formula because it is very difficult to learn all the dimensions formula. So we have to make instantly. So it is the energy ml2 t minus 2 and h and t raised to power minus 1, then ml2 t minus 2 upon t minus 1 equal to h, then h can be written as ml2 minus 1 with goes to numerator then become plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 it means 3 raised to power minus 1. This is the dimension formula of Planck constant. So now t is equal to considered k is a constant and here m l 2 t minus 1 raised to power a. Now dimension formula of speed of light means only dimension formula of speed or dimension formula of only velocity. <laughs> then l t minus 1 raised to power b and uh, third, universal gravitational constant by using the, this formula f equal to g m1 m2 upon r square dimension formula force m l t minus 2 mass into mass means mass square then it can be written as m square here is the l square so m <coughs> square multiply with this l get cube and uh, t raised to power minus 2 upon m square. This is equal to g means g equal to m raised to power minus 1 and uh, l cube and t minus 2. So now substitute the value m raised to power minus 1, l raised to power 3 and t raised to power minus 2 raised to power c. Is it clear? So this is the good method to by using the physical quantities and formulas then you can find out the dimension formula instantly because it is very useful otherwise you make the confusions now m raised to power 1 l raised to power 0 t raised to power 0 equal to k and uh, now using exponent rules multiply this base m raised to power a l raised to power 2a t raised to power minus a multiple of power of power. Then L raised to power B, T raised to power minus B and M raised to power minus C and L raised to power 3C 
and t raised to power minus 2 c m raised to power 1 l raised to power 0 t raised to power 0 equal to k uh, where falls m and m here m comes two places m raised to power a and minus c here l falls 1 2 and third places so 2a minus c minus sorry b 2a plus b and uh, T C okay now T T is a uh, minus A and a minus 2 C here is the T here is the T and uh, minus 2 C okay so now let we have check again m raised to power a m raised to power minus c a minus c l l l 2a b and uh, 3c and t raised to power minus a minus b and minus uh, 2c is it clear then a minus c equal to 1 2a plus b plus 3c equal to 0 then minus a minus b minus 2c equal to 0 so here we get one second but let us first we have to take the minus sign common now it become a plus b plus 2c equal to 0 now we get the new name third equation <coughs> is it clear <coughs> so here first second and third equation now first and second solve multiply by 3 3a minus 3c equal to 3 2a plus b plus 3c equal to 0 and this 3c cancel out 5a plus b equal to 3 this is the fourth equation now this first and third equation a minus c equal to 1 then a plus b plus 2c equal to 0 then multiply by 2 first equation and adding then 2c 2c cancel 3a plus b equal to 2 this is the fifth equation so third uh, fourth and fifth we get the fourth and fifth equation solving this fourth and fifth equation <coughs> p cancel out 2a equal to 1 then a equal to 1 by 2 now substitute this value of a in first equation 5 into 1 by 2 plus b equal to 3 then 5 by 2 plus b equal to 3 then b equal to 3 minus uh, 3 minus 5 by 2 then b equal to 3 to the 6 6 minus 5 by 2 means b equal to also 1 by 2 now we get a and b now put the value of a in this first equation then 1 by 2 minus c equal to 1 then minus c equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 then uh, minus c equal to half then c equal to minus half so now we get a, B and C. Is it clear? So we have right here A raised to power half, B raised to power half and C raised to power minus half. Is it clear? Now it can be put here M directly proportional to the H, C and G, A, B, C. Then M, H raised to power half. It is also half and G is minus half. Then, then let's see which option is correct m is directly proportional to the h okay m is directly proportional to the root c and m is inversely proportional to the root g so let's see which option is matching here m is directly proportional to c so here the option a is matching here is it clear now Second condition, it is directly proportional, all these three terms directly proportional to length also. So now we have using this n is directly proportional to the plane constant, speed of light, and universal gravitational constant as gravitational constant, right? Then L equal to k m raised to power a, n raised to power minus uh, sorry plus 2a, t raised to power minus a, l raised to power b, t raised to power minus b m raised to power minus c, l raised to power 3c and t raised to power minus 2c. Here 
only l can be written as m raised to power 0 l raised to power 1 t raised to power 0 k uh, let's see m where is fall there is two places m comes in two places a and here is minus c l 1 2 and 3 2 a b and 3 c and t 1 place 2 and 3 so minus a plus 3 c uh, sorry uh, uh, t is to power minus a and uh, minus b and minus 2 c okay so now compare a minus c equal to 0 2a plus b plus 3c equal to 1 and minus a minus b minus 2c equal to 0. Here this third equation can be written as in the positive form a plus b plus 2c equal to 0. Now it is the third equation. Okay. Only for our convenient, otherwise you can take negative also. Here same process as we have done in previous 2a minus 2c equal to 0 a plus b plus 2c equal to 0 then this 2c cancel out 3a plus b equal to 0 this is the fourth equation now first and first and second a multiply 3 3a 3c equal to 0, then 2a plus b plus 3c equal to 1, then 3c cancel out. This is 5a plus b equal to 1. This is fifth equation. So we get fourth and fifth equation. Is it clear? Now solving fourth and fifth equation 3a plus b equal to 0, 5a plus b equal to 1, subtracting this term, cancel out. Here is minus 2a equal to minus 1, minus minus cancel out 1 by 2. So here value of a equal to 1 by 2. Now substitute this value 3 by 2 plus b equal to 0, then b equal to minus 3 by 2. So we get b equal to minus 3 by 2. Now substitute this value of this equation means first equation 1 by 2 minus c equal to 0, then minus c equal to minus half means c equal to half. So we get here all this value a, b and c. Is it clear? Now L is directly proportional to the h raised to power a, c raised to power b, g raised to power c. Now substitute all these value a, b, c as per the order 1 by 2 is minus 3 by 2 and g raised to power c means 1 by 2. Now let's see here it can be also written as root h. Here is uh, c c can be written as 1 by c raised to power 3 by 2 it's, it means root c q and here is the root g okay so let's see l is directly proportional to the h l is directly proportional to the h yes it is correct now l is directly proportional to root g yes it is also correct so here the correct answer is a c and d so our answer a c d Okay, I hope so. You understand this question. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video. And I know that very well you are working very hard. And if I will be a part of your success journey, that it will be my pleasure. But when more and more students will join with your success journey, then it will be very great things. Thank you once again. Take care.